Next up on WTV, details about a required cultural experience and a look into a family rivalry. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Tuesday, October 23rd, and I'm Maddie Aronson with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Humanity students are going to local events and gatherings to learn more about culture around the world for a unique credit the course requires. WTV's Alyssa Murphy has the story. Humanities is a two-year course that freshman and sophomore students can take if they have previously been in the Gifted and Talented program. As part of the class, teachers Beth Evans and Sarah Wiseman are requiring their students to complete a humanities art experience each semester with an accompanying essay to be turned in later this semester. Um, it's an opportunity. We do it once each semester in our humanities classes. Um, and it gives our kids an opportunity to go out and experience, um, have an artistic experience or a cultural experience that um, they haven't had. So they can either go to an art museum or see a show, um, go to a ballet, or they can go to um, sort, of, sort of like religious experience that is not from their own tradition, so that they're just kind of getting a broader glimpse into um, some different cultures. Freshman student Cooper Regal went to the Greek Festival in Dallas for his humanities arts experience. For my HAE, I went to the Greek Festival, uh, and that's something uh, my friend does every year. Uh, his dad is the chairman, and it was really cool to see like all the culture. It was really strong there. I think it's beneficial because uh, you know you get to learn more about other people that you might not know as much about, uh, and yeah, you just get to like learn more about other people, other cultures, and maybe make new friends. Reporting for WTV, I'm Melissa Murphy. With the opening of Lebanon Trail High School in 2016, many students that would have been Red Hawks are now Trailblazers. And as WTV's Carter Brock shows, the split could have impacted both players on the court and at home. With the volleyball season winding down, the team plays Lebanon Trail in their final district matchup of the season, a rematch of the Red Hawks' 3-2 victory earlier in the year. However, this seemingly normal matchup has an underlying story. Leading the Trailblazers to a successful 22-8 overall record and the school's first playoff berth are former Fowler players who are on track to become Red Hawks. You know, it's funny because um, one of the things that we get to do is, as coaches is we get to go down to the middle school and work with those kids. So it is funny because those kids that came from Fowler that went to Lebanon Trail, you know, we saw them a couple times a week um, at Fowler. Two of the Trailblazer volleyball players, in fact, have close ties to the Red Hawk family. Senior Kennedy Williams has two sisters that play for Lebanon Trail, twin juniors Raina and Ronnie. With conflicting schedules on top of different schools, family time can be hard to manage. Um, I definitely don't see Kennedy that often because we do different extracurricular things since she's in band and we're in volleyball. It doesn't really affect it that much as it did earlier, like when we were sophomores and, ju and freshmen. But like we don't really hear anything at Liberty that happens, and so it, there's nothing that really affects it other than just not seeing her throughout the whole day until like maybe seven at night. Yeah, so our weeks are very busy, and it's extremely rare that all five of us are all together at home. So my parents always split up, like one parent goes to the football game, one goes to the volleyball game. And then if, if everything is on schedule, like we probably won't all see each other. Like by the time I'll get home, everyone else will be asleep, or vice versa. Aside from the familial aspect, with the Red Hawks in first place in District 95A and the Trailblazers in fourth, the diversion of Fowler students to Lebanon Trail leads to some interesting what-if discussions. I think if we combine with Liberty, we'd be unbeatable, absolutely. But um, I like being here because we don't have any graduating uh, seniors next year, so we get to keep building as a team. It would be interesting to see what, what kind of dynamic we'd have if, if we had other kids, but you can look down the road and um, Heritage could say that about Independence and Centennial could have said that about us and, you know, it's, it's the what I've said that we don't have control over. So, I like the group we have. Yeah. When the Trailblazers visited the Nest in the first round of district play, the allegiances of senior Kennedy Williams were put to the test. I want to say I was on both sides, but really I was going for living on trail. So what I did was I supported Liberty with my shirt but then I made a sign for my sister, so it was this big green and yellow sign that said, that's my sister. It makes it kind of confusing because 
like obviously she goes to Liberty so she has to like sit with them and I guess for her and make it kind of awkward having to cheer for people that don't go to her school so I mean I thought it was fun and I thought it was funny how whenever we'd get a point she would she'd be the only person standing up in the crowd cheering. Speculation aside about what could have been if the Williams sisters were Red Hawks, both teams' playoff runs begin next week and allows for each team to focus on what lies ahead. Oh, I'm very proud because we walked in with no varsity experience in the past and very little exposure in general. And I think we came out our first game against Reedy a little nervous, but we handled it well. And then since then, we've been building and getting stronger. And you couldn't tell that we're a first year varsity. Things keep getting more exciting because we're making those steps and we're reaching those expectations. So um, our long-term goals, we're, we're focused on getting to through the first round of, um, or through the end of district. And then, you know, then we'll focus on the first round of playoffs and, and go from there. The district finale between the Red Hawks and the Trailblazers begins at 6.30 tonight at Lebanon Trail. For Wingspan TV, I'm Carter Brown.